One is today correspond with the destruction of the shrine of our beloved Imams, Al Imam Al Hadi, Alayhi Salam, and Al Imam Al Askari, Alayhi Salam, in Samarra 10 years ago in 2005. The terrorists in Samarra in Iraq they managed to bomb the shrine of our Imams, hoping that they can extinguish the light of these two Imams hoping they can intimidate visitors who would go and show love and respect to the family of the Prophet. My dear brothers and sisters, I visited Samarra after this event. And I encourage you when you go to Iraq, go and visit Samarra. Now go and see the shrine. It is much bigger, much beautiful, and more splendid than ever, with a bigger dome with a bigger base and backyard and courtyard. What they intended to do backfired. Now people go in droves, defying all odds, including terrorists themselves. Some people got killed in the way to Samarra, but that did not deter people from going to Samarra every year, every day, every month. And this shows how much people are attached to the family of the Prophet, that nothing on earth can separate the love of Ahlul Bayt from the heart of the believers. This is a miracle by itself, my dear brothers and sisters, that people defy terror and terrorists, and they choose to go and visit the shrine of these two Imams. Why is that? Why? Because my dear brothers and sisters, do not forget that when the Prophet ﷺ was asked for any kind of compensation for his hard work for 23 years, what did he ask for? What kind of compensation? He asked for one type of compensation. If you Muslims want to compensate the Prophet for all his hard work, the only way you can compensate him by showing love to his family. And Muslims will continue to show, to show love to the family of the Prophet and to the Prophet by visiting the shrine of those great Imams.